Welcome back, guys. Uh, today I thought I'd uh, give you some information on a program that I came by a few months ago, actually, uh, to help you create bootable your bootable USB drives from an ISO file. Uh, I tried it a few months ago, and I had a little bit of uh, difficulty with it. So I didn't use it for a while, and evidently they have updated it, and I've been using it for about a week or two, and I haven't uh, found any ISO file that this thing wouldn't handle. So um, I thought I'd uh, give you the information on it. If you haven't uh, heard of it already, um, you might want to give it a try. Uh, it's a pretty easy, pretty intuitive um, little program. It's called Etcher. Uh, I was tipped off to this by one of uh, our viewers a few months ago and I, as I said I had a little bit of difficulty at first but right now it's working terrific. I haven't had any issues at all. So if you want to give it a shot um, it is free uh, so it doesn't cost anything to give it a try and see if it works for you. See if you like it. So it's called Etcher. I'll put a link to the website um, it's pretty easy now if you once you go to the website you'll see download for Linux but it, there are versions for Mac for Windows and Linux so it's pretty much universal if I download the um, Linux 64-bit and I put it into my downloads folder Okay, so that shouldn't take long. It's got a few seconds to go. And then I will show you the install process. It's pretty easy. There's the zip file in my downloads folder. So if I open my file manager and go into downloads, and if I right click on Etcher and extract here, you will see a little uh, app image file in your downloads folder and if you double click that it says should a desktop file for uh, this uh, app image be installed and you're gonna click yes okay so uh, if you installed it to the panel like I did you just have to single click the icon it will open up the application window the first thing you'll do is select the image that you want to copy so in my downloads folder I have a Lubuntu ISO I'll select that and then for the drive uh, it's already picked up the fact that I have a 7.8 or an 8 gigabyte drive uh, so I'm going to go with that if I had more than one USB drive plugged in it would give me a list and I could select the one that I wanted but in this case I only have the one and so I'm gonna select once I'm sure that the drive I selected is correct and you wanna make a hundred percent sure you wanna double and triple check that make sure you're selecting the correct drive because you're gonna be deleting everything on that drive so you don't wanna lose anything that you value so once you're sure then you're gonna click flash it will start it'll ask, ask you for your password and then it's going to start creating your bootable ISO drive now it's going to give you a completion indication I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be back uh, just when it's just about done be right back with you guys okay guys right now it's at 97 98 percent just about done it's gonna do a validation or a uh, yeah, validating all of the files and now it's telling me that my flash is complete so now all that remains is for you to boot from the drive so that is it for this short video guys this is etcher uh, it's an easy way to create your bootable ISO drives so guys thanks for stopping by the channel today please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you soon take care